Hello, my friends. If you have stressed out shoulders or tight traps, this class is for you. Definitely more of an intermediate flow, but I'll be giving modifications along the way. Have a blanket in two blocks. If you don't have them, no big deal. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on the mat. To begin, come to sit with blocks under your knees if you have blocks and maybe just be propped up on a blanket, hands on the knees, and close the eyes. Right away, just allow yourself to rebound into this full, deep breathing. Begin to notice and really draw your attention in on the breath. Begin thinking about your torso three-dimensionally. So every time you breathe in, the front body, the breastplate, and the back body, the space between your shoulder blades inflates with breath. And every time you breathe out, the front body and back body narrow towards one another and you get taller. Two more like that, breathing in. It's like your torso is a square, front to side, back to side. It just gets larger each inhale. And gently rebound on the exhale. Take three more centering breaths here. Bringing all your attention to your rib cage and beginning to draw the head farther away from the sits bones. So crown of head moves away from the sitting bones. Take your left hand now to your right knee for a gentle twist. And then turn the palm the opposite direction. So palm faces out, back of hand on the knee. You can bend the elbow, inhale. And exhale, twist. Inhale. And exhale, just enjoying this rotation. From here, I want you to move your low ribs to the space below your navel. So see if you can play that, low ribs to space below the navel. Inhale. And as you exhale, twist a little more. Now add on the occiput, the place where your hairline meets your neck, drawing away from your tailbone. So as the low ribs navigate to the space below your navel, the back of your neck gets even longer as you play the twist and let your knees really be supported by the blocks. Final breath. Come back to center. Take the hands back on the knees, deep breath in. Deep breath out. Breathing in. As you breathe out, twist the opposite way. So right hand to left knee. Flip the palm once again, so the back of the hand is to the knee. Inhale, get tall. And exhale, twist. Keep the shoulder blades gliding down the back. Keep the sits bones heavy on the blanket and the knees heavy on the blocks. And breathe in. And as you breathe out, really navigate, cinch your low ribs to the space below your navel. And then get taller through your occiput, through the back of your neck. So think of that hairline, where the hairline meets the neck, rises up and gets long. Shoulder blades glide down. Just play this. It's a lot. It's a lot to think about. Just have fun with it. Play it in the simple seated twist. Two more breaths. And then we'll meet at center. 
Exhale completely. Set the blocks at the top of the mat on either side. Keep the blanket on the mat underneath the knees if you like. We're coming into some cat cows. Can feel nice to pad the knees. Inhale, just very loose, ripple through the spine. Take the shoulders and the collarbones back, heart forward. Exhale for your down cat, you round. Chin into the body, tailbone to the space between the knees. A few more. Breathing in. See if you can wait for my call. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Really carve the air, ripple through every vertebra. Breathing in. And then take the feet wide so the toes are on the mat, pinky toes are on the wood, and press back into your downward facing dog. So we're just prioritizing length and the spine here. Press the torso towards the thigh bones. Spread out like a starfish. And then you can move the blanket to the side. Big breath in. And a huge breath out. And bring your ears in line with your biceps now. So maybe you glance forward just a touch. Keep the back of the neck long. Lift onto your tippy toes. So heels rise off the mat. Bend the knees. And then send your sitting bones higher towards the ceiling while keeping the biceps in line with the ears. And then let the heels drop. Maybe feel a deeper stretch in the Achilles and the back of the calves. One more deep breath here. Make sure the fingers are spread. Lots of space between the shoulders and the ears. And then walk the feet to hip width apart if that feels okay. Bend through one knee and then the other. Walk to the top of the mat. Keep the feet hip width apart. And then take your hands to that occiput area we've been talking about. Interlace the fingers behind the neck at the hairline. Bend the knees deeply. Crown of head points towards the floor. And just sway from side to side. But make it the tiniest, most gentle swaying. So I could barely see that you were swaying or moving at all. Good. Let the hands drop to the floor. Keep the knees bent. Crown of head heavy. We'll do a slow spinal roll up to stand. So round through your low back, mid back, upper back. Head is the last thing to come up. Inhale. Send the hands in front of you, prayer above the head. Come into a little back bend, nothing too intense. Lengthen your tailbone down and just keep, even in the back bend, think of the space below your ribs, your low ribs, and the space below your navel moving towards one another, which is very different from being here, right? So there's this energy. It should be very heating. Low ribs moving towards the hips, hips moving up towards the low ribs, even as you play the back bend last breath. Exhale. Really take energy from above you down. So I want you to really slowly trace the face with the thumbs. Let the thumbs land on the body. And we'll do that once more. Inhale, reach up. Hands at prayer, a little back bend, tip back. 
and then play this low ribs to the space below the navel, taking the arch out of the low back, playing the back bend safely. Last breath. And this time, hands through prayer, but you're gonna fold all the way down to the ground. Breathe in, half lift, get long. Breathe out, step it back to your plank pose and hold. Breathe out, knees, chest, chin, or lower in a straight line down to the floor. As you breathe in, Shalabhasana, so press the hips into the mat. You can keep the feet on the floor or the feet lifted. Most important is the fingers reaching behind you. And then even in this Shalabhasana, draw low ribs towards hips. Feel the abs engage. Exhale, hands underneath the shoulders. Press back, child's pose. Inhale, come to all fours, up cat. Exhale, ripple back, downward facing dog. And we'll play it two more times, this vinyasa. Find your stability in your dog. Maybe pedal through the legs. And gently walk to the top of the mat. Feet hip width apart. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, maybe slide the hands down the backs of the calves to fold. Inhale, reach the arms forward and up. Prayer above the head. Maybe a little back bend with control. Exhale, trace the face, fold all the way down. Your in breath, half lift. Your out breath plank. Continue the out breath all the way to the floor, knees, chest, chin, or one straight line. Your in breath, shalabhasana. Fingers long behind you, toes can stay on the floor. Draw the abs in, breath in. Exhale, hands underneath the shoulders. Breathe out, child's pose. Let your in-breath guide you, all fours. Maybe gentle up cat. Let your out-breath guide you, curling the toes under, downward facing dog. Breathe in here. Breathe out. Stroll to the top of the mat. Let your in-breath create a flat back. Glide the shoulders down and back, back of the neck long. Breathe out, slide the hands down the backs of the calves to fold. Send the prayer forward in front of your face. Inhale, reach up, little back bend, hips forward. Exhale, hands trace the face to fold. Breathing in, half lift. Breathing out, step to plank. Follow the breath out all the way down to the floor. Breathing in, Shalabhasana. Breathing out, hands underneath the shoulders. Press back, child's pose. Breathing in. All fours, maybe up cat. Breathing out, letting your breath guide you, downward facing dog. Reach the right leg high to the sky, bend the knees, stack the hips. Inhale, send the right knee farther away from your body as you breathe in. As you breathe out, knee to nose. Inhale, reach the right leg up and back. Exhale, knee to nose, hollow out the belly. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, step the right foot between the hands. Coming down onto the left knee, low lunge, a little different. I want you to spin your left fingertips out so your wrist is gonna rotate out. External rotation of the arm, fingertips face you. Wrist crease should be in line with the knuckles of the toes. Inhale, reach the right arm up. Make sure the back toes aren't curled under. 
back foot presses into the mat. Narrow the hips towards one another. Glide the shoulders down and back. Move your torso closer to your knee. Press again through the back foot and twist. We're here for three, two, last one. Exhale, hands frame the foot. Find your block so you can just shift back. Ardha Hanumanasana, toes towards the ceiling. Breathe in, get long. Breathe out to full. Your in-breath creates a flat back. And your out-breath, you melt forward. Two more on your own. Breathing in. And breathing out. And breathing in. Mm, breathing out. Bend into the front knee. Mm, Rebend. Take your blocks with you. We're coming into warrior three with the block. So you'll curl the back toes under. You'll press up warrior three. Spiral the left pinky toes down towards the floor and keep the hands on the blocks. You can maybe peek back at your foot, drop the head and really spiral the pinky toe of the left foot down. Think of the left inner seam of the leg hugging up towards the ceiling. Use the blocks. We're here for three, or if you want, you can test your balance. Two, last one. Draw that left knee up to stand. So pull the left knee into the chest. Big breath in, press the knee into the hand and the hand into the knee. Exhale, you're going to set that left foot a little off to the side of your mat. Exhale, come on down to your yogi squat. Press the elbows into the thighs. Squeeze the thighs in towards the elbows. Let the hips drop, but the pelvic floor hugs up and in. Breathing here for three. Two. Last one. And you take the right elbow and thread it underneath the left. Draw the elbows down, draw the shoulder blades down. And then as you breathe in, I want you to stick the seat back so it'll feel a little funny. Spine is parallel to the floor. Dip the chin and send your elbows super far away from your body and lengthen your tailbone back. So we're stretching the low back and maybe the shoulders. Last breath. Good. And then inhale, come all the way up to stand. Turn the feet to parallel. Breathe in, look up. And then exhale, keeping your bind, draw the elbows down the body and round, bend the knees. Breathe into the space between your shoulder blades. So again, imagine someone punched you in the stomach. Head is super heavy. You're trying to widen your scapula, your shoulder blades apart from one another. Forcibly take the chin into the chest. Last breath. And then inhale. Let the arms come apart. Breathe in. Look up. Find that controlled back bend, low ribs to space below navel, and then exhale, fold. Hands through prayer or whatever feels good to you. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step the right foot back, right knee to the mat, low lunge. This time, hook the thumbs, breathe in, open the chest, take the biceps back, look up. Exhale, hands frame the foot. Step it back, plank in your choice. Shalabhasana, knees, chest, chin, up dog, chaturanga, or skip it. We'll all meet downward facing dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in, take the left leg high to the sky, bend the knees, stack the hips. 
Send that left knee farther away from the body. And then exhale, draw knee to nose. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, knee to nose. Set the foot down, back knee to the mat, and then spiraling this time the right fingertips, external rotation of the arm out, fingertips point back, wrist crease lines up with the knuckles of the toes, and then reach the left arm to the sky. Draw the shoulder blades down and back. Press the top of the back foot into the mat and bring the chest closer to the left knee. We're here for three. The more you press into the top of the back foot, the more you're gonna find this really beautiful spiral in the upper body. Last one. Exhale, hands frame the foot. Ardha Hanumanasana, take the blocks, press back. Toes point straight towards the ceiling. Inhale, half lift. Your out breath draws the abs back to fold. Inhale, get long. Exhale to fold. Two more. Last breath. And re-bend into the front knee. Take the blocks with you, playing your warrior three. So now curl the toes under, press off. Use the blocks, drop the head if you want for this first ones. You can look back at your toes, spiral them so all five toes point towards the floor. Inner seam of the right thigh hugging towards the ceiling, maybe testing your balance for three, two, one. Draw the knee into the chest, come up to stand, breathe in, and exhale, setting the right foot to the outside of the mat as you breathe out, coming into your squat pose. Breathe in. Breathe out. Sitting bones heavy, pelvic floor lift. Last breath. Good, and then take the left elbow underneath the right, eagle wrap. Draw the shoulders down, draw the elbows down. Huge breath here. And then pull like there was an elastic band between the elbows and your sits bones. Draw them apart from one another so you're in your flat back, chin into chest, so back of the neck is long. Sits bones, tailbone, and elbows press away from one another. Two more breaths. Play that dynamic opposition. Elbows pull away from sits bones, sitting bones reach back, and then take it up to stand. Turn the toes to parallel, reach the elbows towards the sky and then slither the elbows down the body and melt into yourself. Bend the knees, hollow out the abs, round the upper back, chin into chest, and just breathe into the space between your shoulder blades. And last breath. Inhale, reach the arms up, hands at prayer, controlled back bend, hips and low ribs move towards one another, exhale, fold. Breathe in on your half lift. Exhale, step your left foot back in space, left knee to the mat, low lunge, hook the thumbs, opposite hook if you can remember, open up. Two breaths here. Final breath. Exhale, hands frame the foot. Step back, your choice. 
down dog, plank, or chaturanga. Reach the right leg up and back. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, right leg up and back. Exhale, set the knee down directly beneath your navel. Turn the left foot to face the left side wall and reach the left arm to the sky. Look down, and it's okay if your right foot kind of props behind you. I want you to really bring, and you'll manually move, your hand, your knee, and your back heel all into one line if you drew a line on your mat. Take the time to set that up, and then bring your gaze up. And then from here, begin to knit your low ribs towards the space below your navel here. And just notice what it feels like to have the whole body in one plane. Some of you will stay right here. Some of you will lift the back leg and see what that feels like. Last breath. And drop the back foot. Bring the left hand back to the mat. Square yourself off, curl the left toes under. Kick the right leg to the sky once again. And exhale, step the foot between the hands, warrior one. Come on up, breathe in. Mm, exhale, draw the hands down the sides of the body. Good, inhale, sweep the arms forward. Exhale, draw the hands down the sides of the body. Two more, inhale, reach. Exhale, draw down. Last one, inhale, reach. Exhale, draw. Good. And then just take the right elbow over the left. Give yourself a big hug. See if you can grab onto your shoulder blades behind you. So really grab the corners of the scapula and give yourself a little massage, move your fingers around, self-massage. Option one, stay here. Option two, with the elbows on top of each other, you'll just take the backs of the hands to meet. Then of course, option three is full eagle where we were before. Wherever you are, draw the elbows down the body and then hollow out the belly again in this warrior one and just take a forward fold. Press the shoulders back and down. Let the chin drop into the chest. We're just focusing on opening the back body here, the space between the shoulder blades. Two more breaths. Final breath. Good, and then kick off that back foot. See if you can keep the bind for the warrior three with the bind. And if you need to take the hands back to blocks, that's fine. Otherwise, remember all the interplaying elements we've played with. Drop the left hip more than you think you need to. Good. And then see if you can keep the bind and bring the knee, that left knee, into the chest. And exhale, of course, sitting for eagle, right? And you can Keep it high, or you can double wrap the legs and go low. Be where you want to be. We're here for three. And two, energy between the arms. It's like they want to flick apart. Last breath. Good. Taking it into a standing split from here, so you'll unwind the legs. Drop the hands to the mat. Kick the left leg high to the sky. Exhale, bend both knees, curl into a little ball, get the seat low. Inhale, lift the left leg. Exhale, bend both knees. It's like the knees want to nestle into one another. And then take it high. And then this time, allow yourself to sit all the way down and back into a seated spinal twist. 
Inhale, reach the arms up alongside the body. Exhale, left hand to right knee to twist. Breathe in. Breathe out. Press the right big toe really firmly into the mat for me. And then find here in the twist, same thing. Low ribs move to the space below the navel and just play. Keep the shoulders relaxing down the back. And last two. And last one. Good. We're gonna take down dog facing the opposite way, so it should feel good. You just counter twist and then you'll just walk. Mm, fresh perspective. <laughs> Pedal through the legs, your choice to move through vinyasa or to skip it. Mm, take the left leg high to the sky. Mm, exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, left leg up and back. Exhale, set the left knee directly down below your navel. Coming into that modified side plank. So setting it up, taking the left hand directly under the shoulder and then really looking, taking the time today to line up. Wrist, knee, okay if the calf kind of bumps back, right? And then really bring the heel in line as well, and then reach the right hand to the sky. Draw the shoulders down and back, really feel everything in one straight line. Tailbone lengthens towards the heel. And then here, begin knitting low ribs towards the hips and the space below the navel. Maybe you prop up on the fingertips, those spidey hands for a little bit more length. Maybe look up. And just breathe here. Everything's all lined up so prana can really flow. Make your breathing super deep. You can also lift the back leg if you did it on the other side. Last breath. Good. And then take both hands underneath the shoulders. Curl the back right toes under. Hands underneath shoulders to kick left leg up and back and then stepping it through warrior one, nice wide stance. Inhale, reach up. Mm, exhale, take the hands alongside the body, sweep them forward. Exhale, hands go down. Just moving on your breath. Inhaling, tracing the body, exhaling, reaching forward. It really feels good to do it either on both an in-breath and an out-breath, which isn't true of all movements, but this one just kind of do whatever you're feeling. Last one. Good. and then we'll come into that hug. This time the left elbow is over the right. Really take the time to gather the shoulder blades in your palms. Give yourself that self-massage. Just imagine you're playing the piano on your shoulder blades. Move them up and down. And then with the elbows stacked, forearms touch. You can stay here or come into full eagle. Rounding the spine to begin, chin into chest hollowing out the back body. So we're hollowing out the belly, excuse me, to let the back body really round and release. Let the head drop, chin into chest. Legs are still powerful, warrior one. Last breath. Good. And then evolving this into warrior three. You can always flip back around if you need your blocks. Press the elbows forward, press the heel back. Foot is flexed, toes drop towards the floor. Drop the right hip more than you think you need to. 
Elbows press forward, heel presses back. Play the balance for three, two, one, and then draw right knee into the chest. And then exhale, descending to land your eagle. And keep the breath audible and full. Inhales and exhales equal length through the nose. Last two breaths. Get a little lower. Try to upright the body. Good. And then you'll uninterlace that right leg. Release to the floor. Standing split. Hands to the floor, right leg high. Breathe in. And then exhale, curling into a little ball. Get low. And breathing in, extend the legs. Really imagine that there was like an elastic between the legs as you do this. So you're going slow, carving the air. Inhale, top leg extends. And this time, exhaling, descending all the way into your seated spinal twist, carefully pressing back. Inhale, touch the sides of the body if you want as you reach up. Exhale, left hand back, right elbow hooks the knee. Both sitting bones ground into the floor. Press that big toe into the floor for me on that front foot and begin the twist. Inhale, get tall. Exhale, twist deeper. Keep thinking of the low ribs moving to the space below the navel, so you're hollowing out the belly here, getting longer through the occiput and the back of the neck. Last two breaths. Gently come back to center. This time, instead of down dog, we'll just take this into Gomukhasana. So we're going to just, we're already there, right? We're just taking the left knee on top of the right. If you need help getting into this, it can sometimes help to like go to all fours and then set yourself back. A block underneath the seat is a really good idea for most of us. And I'll face you. Mm, see if you can get the heels equidistant from the seat. And if this is just too much, too much pressure on the knees or not feeling right, you just rock it down to the floor, right? And you can do this same pose with us on your back, making sure that the um, heels aren't down low, that they're up high, so you can really get the stretch. So reclined or seated, breathe in. If you're seated, we'll take eagle arms, last time, right under left. Draw the elbows down. Let the chin dip into the chest and round. Really hollow out your belly here. So imagine someone, it's like you're channeling that Halloween cat shape even here. And then pending your range of motion, you may be able to sort of like hook the elbows forward of the knees and let the head drop into that space. Or you may want to keep the elbows really close into the body, drawing the shoulder blades down and back. Just see what feels good for you. And then you can unwrap the arms and just focus purely on the hips as that feels good as well. And we're here for five more breaths. Blocks under the head is always juicy here too. Pressing the head into a block or into something can really just help us press the hips down and back towards the mat, sort of find that, what I call the back door of the hip. Three more breaths. Last breath. 
Gently press yourself up. A little funky. Before we go to the other side, what we're doing next is we're gonna unravel the legs. So if you were lying down, join us. Just take the feet underneath you. Come back into your little squat if you can. This is just a transition. Hands to the floor. Heel toe the feet out. Mm -hmm. So we're coming into our wide-legged forward fold. Pigeon toe the toes in and the heels out. And then let the upper body drape, but we're interlacing the hands behind the low back. So we're continuing to rinse the shoulders. Bring the heels of the hands to touch if you can. If the elbows are bent, that's fine. You could also use a strap, holding a strap between the hands and just let the upper body fall. Tons of energy in the legs. Pull up through the kneecaps, really feel energy from the arches of your feet, hugging all the way up into your pelvic floor. And then maybe move the neck uh, tilt the head left and right, shake the head yes and no, and side to side, and just send the knuckles towards the sky. Last breath. Hmm. Let the arms drop now, reversing out of it. First, let's just take a half lift, breathe in. Draw the shoulders down and back, breathe out, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Okay. Heel toe the feet towards one another. You can transition back through your little squat, back down to seated. Or maybe you want to come into all fours in order to find the second side. So take the left knee behind the right, so second side. If you've been following with me, is left behind right. You can always do it on your back, props under the seat, making the heels equidistant from the thighs best you can. Any strain in the knee, you're just doing this on your back instead. Having the blocks nearby, if you think you might wanna use them. Inhaling first. Exhaling left elbow underneath the right. Last time, eagle wrap, breathe in. And then exhale, hollowing the belly, releasing the head, opening the upper back. You can send the elbows forward. You can see what it feels like to rest the elbows beyond the knees. And see what it feels like to draw the elbows really into the belly and curl up, letting the head release. Whichever feels like a more delicious stretch for you. Keep pressing the forearms into one another. It's like they wanna tear apart from one another. Good. And then you can release it or keep it as you fold forward. Head to a block. Or head to the floor. Hear your breath. And just observe how the sides may be different, left and right. Three breaths. Inflate your low back with your breath. Good. 
And then gently press yourself up. Take the legs wide, seated now. Doesn't have to be big. And you can always take Baddha Konasana, soles of the feet touching if you're just like no way on this stretch. Otherwise, breathe in, get tall. And exhale, just use the blocks to surrender and play forward. Keep the feet active and flexed if the legs are long. Keep pressing the thigh bone, the femur down. And just five deep breaths. Of course, you can stay here longer. Otherwise, press yourself up. We're coming into Shavasana. I'm going to give goddess as an option if you're coming into Shavasana. If you have bolsters and you know how to set up goddess, do it. Otherwise, you can just roll up the blanket if you sort of don't have a lot of props. And you can even do this with no blanket. If you have the blocks, you can set them underneath the knees, which is what I'm going to suggest. You can always just take regular Shavasana as well, or a seated meditation. Just whatever you think would be really healing for you to now come into a space of complete rest, where the body's utterly supported. Over the course of the next five or six breaths, just allow the bones of the body to get heavy. And let your muscles sink and almost like slacken off the bone towards the floor. Indulge in a place of pure rest. Slowly invite conscious breath back into the body. Wiggle your fingers. Take the hands to the outside of the thighs. If you're in goddess, and bring manually the thighs together. And draw one knee into the chest and then the other, giving yourself a squeeze, rolling off your blanket to the right side. And we'll all meet in a comfortable seat. And once you're there, just bring your hands to prayer at heart center. Take a deep breath in. 
Exhaling nose or mouth. One more deep breath in from the belly up. And exhale completely. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me. I'd love to hear how this went for you in the comments below. From my heart to yours, namaste.